What's up guys and welcome to a brand new episode of Let's Play Little Big Planet. And today, why don't we decorate our pot a little bit? We don't have too many collectibles at all or any. <laughs> no, they're in here. And like as you can see, we don't have too many collectibles, but of course we learned that we can customize our pot in the last episode. Let's put a gigantic shoe right here. Okay. Now let's hop in to the game. And we, we were doing the gardens last episode, and we'll be continuing it through this time around. We'll be doing Get a Grip by the King. Okay. I don't know what the king's up to. It's time to get a grip. You can grab materials using the R1 button. Try scaling the walls, and you'll get the idea. Okay. So we can actually pull this over here and just grab stuff in typical grabbing fashion. And let's try to get over here. If we climb onto this house, we can actually find a number of cool goodies over here. And we'll find more uh, sticker things, as you can see above my head. Oh no, I fell! Oh gosh, can I get back up from here? I think I can. Whoa! Let me use you as a, as an object really quick, King. I need to get up here. Ugh. Oh no. No, come on, King. Work with me. Ugh. There we go. Okay. So up there we have the star, but of course we do not have the star sticker, so it doesn't really help us too much. I won't be replaying levels just for a handful of collectibles, so don't worry about that. Let me try to get up here. Uh, there we go. So yeah, this level will all be about grabbing things and swinging in things and gripping on things. And it'll actually be pretty cool. I love this little object right here. I don't know why, but this object always sticks out in my mind when I think of Little Big Planet. Is this little area right here. Because it's just sort of funny fiddling with this and trying to get it in the right position. Okay, and let's hop down and, ooh, looks like we get the sticker for this one. So we can get the sticker and put it down like this, and boom, it gives us some nice prizes. Of course, the star would do the same exact thing if we had it. I'm a wooden steed, I am. Drag me by grabbing my soft material, then jump on and we can go for a ride. Okay, Mr. Horse. You know, I, I'm a zebra, so I am like a partially a horse. But, you know, a horse riding a, a zebra or the vice versa is a little interesting to think about. Come on, no, come on. This way. <laughs> no, 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 you're pushing me around. No, 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 I need that sticker. All right, I guess I got to do it myself. I got to do all the heavy lifting around here. Okay, let's get some of these points. I really messed that up, but it's okay. All right, so if you want more oomph when dragging, press the X button repeatedly. Okay, I've already been doing that. Ooh, there was a sticker behind him. He was trying to hide the goods from me. <laughs> okay, let's pull him up. Oh man, I love the music in this game. It's so chill. It's probably, I honestly think this first game has the best soundtrack. I just, like, it feels like it fits the aesthetic of the game really well. Okay, so let's hop up here. Oh, okay. And this guy has a little bit of a, uh, like a dip so that we can actually fit him into the hole and he won't roll off. Oh, and we get that. We get the rose. Ooh, where am I? Oh gosh, it'd be, oh wow, I found something secret. I didn't even know that was there completely forgot at the least. I love how this is just like, you know, a normal wall, but there's grass and flowers painted on it, and that actually gives it a really nice look. Like, I feel like that actually looks better than if they were to actually put grass and flowers there. Let's bring him down there, but I'm actually gonna hop down here and pick up more stuff. <laughs> cool. Let's get up here. Ooh. Ooh, okay. To hang from an object, jump and then hold down on the grab button. You can swing using the L stick. Try getting over that wall using these sponges. Okay. Let's be careful not to die so that we can get the ace. That would be fun to do. Oh, and the monkey face. <laughs> oh, man. This music really starts kicking in. I love it. Do, 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 do. We can also go up this tree and find a lot of cool stuff. I know that if we're good enough, I think there's actually some clouds we can hop around on. Oh, no. No, maybe we're not good enough. <laughs> All right. Let's get back over. No, 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 no. No, no, I really don't want to die. Go on, huh? <laughs> cool. I'm excited to get to some of the worlds later in the game that aren't as close into my recent memory, like some like the construction level based one and stuff like that. That's gonna be fun. No, okay, okay, I, I throw in the towel. I'm done, I'm out of here, ah! Angry McGee. Okay, so we're gonna go up here. Oh, keys will unlock survival challenges and score challenges, so be sure to keep a lookout some are really hard to find. Yeah, that's actually very true. So, when it comes to mini games and set side challenges, I usually don't touch them in my main Let's Play. You'll see that in my Little Big Planet 1 Let's Play. And if you guys really do like this series, maybe after I'm done all the main story levels, I'll go back and do the mini games. You're doing great. Place a tail decoration on my wooden steed and you may proceed. Jump on the red button if you need to learn how. Okay. 
placing decorations. This is where all those wasted hours watching pointless TV decorating shows really doesn't pay off. It's easy peasy. Open your pocket and select the stickers and decorations icon. Did you know you can use the page buttons to quickly jump from one page to the next? Try it now to move across to the decorations page. Now choose something that leaps off the screen and metaphorically kisses you passionately. Use the action button to select it. It's rather like the stickers feature, isn't it? In fact, it's exactly like it. And you can position and place decorations in precisely the same way. Hooray! Okay, so we're going to do the same here. We're going to put a nice little, uh, tail. Let's make it, like, absolutely huge. <laughs> Just place this on him. He has the tail of a beast. My tail looks great, thanks. Hop on board and let's ha hold on tight and let's race. Oh, I gotta get one more sticker. Give me that decoration. All right, let's go. <laughs> Decoration's always cool. It's fun to customize your character's look with cus or uh, with decorations. Ready for a race? Get to the finish post as quickly as possible for bonus points. So yeah, we can do that. Who? Oh, but I could jump over by accident too. I didn't mean to do that. Go, 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 go! Race, race! The racing gates are always fun. There's a lot of cool levels with those. Okay, so we do got to be careful. I know that there's supposed to be some item around here. Whoa! There's the star again that we don't have. Whoa! Oh look, there's a mushroom on top of the mushroom. Ugh! How do I get that? I gotta get that. Come on. Ugh! Oh no, I missed. <laughs> I missed my jump completely. There we go. Awesome. Okay, what does the king have to say? Great, you're really getting the grips with the basics. All players stand in front of the scoreboard. Let's see how well you did. Okay. Hooray, we did awesome. Which wins us? What are we gonna win? We're gonna win the pink cat nose and the happy eyes. <laughs> and we got the ace. Awesome, I was worried we weren't gonna be able to get that, but we didn't. Oh, we got the pirate clothes. And did we get 100%? Did we ace it? No. We did not ace it. We didn't even get close. Look at how sad I am now. <laughs> nice bit of exploring there, my little chum. Hey, I just had a look at your pod, and you might want to decorate it now. Make it home. Put a bit of your personality into it. Or something classy instead. Go nuts. Tap the back button a couple of times to disengage from the pod computer and use your poppet to begin the decorative proceedings. Uh, we'll do that some other time since we did it at the beginning of the episode. But uh, let's uh, do this one. This one's one of my favorite levels of all time in this game. Skate to Victory by the King. Let's head in. And we're in. And this level just, it brings me back so much. I love it so much. Do we have the gold, the star sticker now? No, we do not. Okay. Is there anything in these cups? <laughs> no, I think if you put the star sticker in, the, there will be stuff that falls out of the cups. But, oh man. This level was in the demo. And it just, oh man. It really brings me back. The easy stuff is now over. Beyond these tranquil hills lies a scary castle. Grab that bird over there to get going. Okay, Mr. King. We're about to become hardcore gamers. Little Big Planet just became Super Meat Boy. <laughs> and oh my god, this song. This song, I love it so much. One of my favorite songs. I love this song. It really, it's just like, everything about this level is perfect. I love it. <laughs> so let me just fanboy for a little bit. All right, now let me try to get it in motion here so I can, uh, can I get it? Can I get it? Okay, I got them. Ooh, okay, cool, cool. And <laughs> we got some cool text raffle rolling on the floor laughing. Do we, do we have finally have the star yet? No, the star has abandoned us. Oh, well. All right, let's head back up. This music, this song, though, and I feel like it's a definitive Little Big Planet song. Something about it just, like, it truly explains the feel of the game. Okay, so let's uh, try to get all this kind of stuff, and then hop over here. Hooah. Oh, I can't get any of that yet. I need to uh, go around, I think. Oh, no! But don't fall! Oh, there goes the ace. Wah, wah. <laughs> still cool. Still cool. It's okay. It's okay. Let me get this bird. Ooh. What's that say? Chips? Does that say chips? Yeah. Let's have some chips. 
Oh gosh. No, I I missed them both. Really? I had to go over and do that again. No. <laughs> Come on. Get you. Let's try this one more time. Yep. No. All right then. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I don't need those stickers. I don't need no sticker that says fish. You can use the camera tool to create your own stickers. Jump on the red button to find out how. Okay. Is there anything behind you? No, there's not. A picture can take a magic moment and preserve it forever. And here on Little Big Planet, you're never short of magic moments to collect. So go to the My Pictures page in the Stickers and Decorations pages, and you'll find the Take a Photo tool. Simply select it, then use the left and right sticks to frame your masterpiece. Press the action button. And crash bang wallop what a picture. Captured in the form of a sticker you can stick wherever you like. And here, Bill's stickers will not be prosecuted. Justice for Bill. Hooray! Justice for Bill! Okay, let's go on. And we should run into an interesting thing. Oh, look, it's Humpty Dumpty. Click this jetpack to hover around in the air for more oomph, hold X. You can still grab stuff with R1. Stop. To stop using the jetpack, just press circle. Now, this one's actually pretty interesting because, like, I'm... You you really don't see this one in Little Wee Planet 2, and it sort of makes me question, did this get transferred over to Little Wee Planet 2? I'm not even sure. But basically, we just want to pick this stuff up. The jetpack's actually really cool, though, and I sort of miss it. <laughs> it's fun to use. But there's so many different alternatives to the jetpack that I'm not surprised that it isn't around that often. So I get this. And, okay, that's going to be enough to weigh it down. But before we go on, we're going to run over here and get some fun power-ups. Power-ups, what am I talking about? We're going to get stickers and objects and fun things like that. Now if we hop off and land on the tree pl Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, there's nothing else to get over here. Alright, it was worth checking. Do I have the star yet? I want the sinking star! Okay. Whatever. Let's keep on going. Let's keep going. Rolling. Alright, and now we get to finally go into the spooky castle. What's this one gonna be like? Ooh, if we hop on the shoe, we'll get a sticker. And the shoe might stomp us. No, don't stomp me. No, run. No. <laughs> okay. And here we can not get through, of course, the wall is too high. So we want to grab this block and move it over. And then do that once more. Ah, okay. Ooh. Go, go, go. Be quick. Be speedy. <laughs> hey, we did it. I ain't afraid of no ghost. <laughs> no, okay, maybe I am. Okay, I take it back. I'm sorry, Mr. Ghost. Ooh, okay, gotta be careful, because this guy, he sort of does gravitate to you slightly. So you gotta be careful. Let me hop up here, and he's gonna try to, uh. No, leave me. Ah, see? He sort of, like, tries to go towards you just ever so slightly. And these guys, of course, being ghosts, they're impossible to kill or take out or anything. So we just gotta avoid them. School, spooky, scary stuff. This is our first enemy, really, isn't it? Okay, so let me hop on the shoe, and this will bring me upwards into wherever I need to go. No! <laughs> I fell back down. But, of course, the shoe will keep going, doing its thing. Oh, okay. We got back up. We'll do it this time. Watch. Leap of faith. <laughs> All right. Hmm. So it looks like we gotta go up here. Whoa! Ah, look at that guy! Look at that guy staring at us through the window! Stop it! You peeper! You pervert! Okay, so let's uh, go up here. And press this button, it's gonna stomp down the shoe. No! Shoe, come back! Okay, so we're back up here. And it looks like we got a shield that we can do something with here, but I don't think we have that item either. Ah! Boom, we got a new challenge, a new score challenge. Cool. Now, I want that sticker, so let me try to launch myself here. Ugh. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, no. Oh, the boot. The boot is so evil to me. I find it funny, though, that this boot is designed to look real, so it gives you a really good idea of your size in the world, the real-life world. This is a special cooperative challenge area. The, the, the little sack person times two sign just here means that you need a friend to help you unlock the prize bubbles above. And that is very true. You cannot do this one without a friend. And that's unfortunate, because I have no fruits. <laughs> no, I'm not really worrying about it, though. So we can hop back up here. Ooh. And up here. The thing is, though, is that you might notice in the backgrounds or in the objects in this game in general, that this game does have a sense of scale. It's sort of... 
like, it compares itself to real life objects like this boot, obviously, but in Little Big Planet 2, and other Little Big Planets, it seems like they sort of took out that aspect, and I feel like that's why this game feels a little more, like, handmade or genuine. Okay, so let's try this. I'm gonna try to get him to knock me off over this way, but it's a little hard, but you can see there's stuff to collect over there. So we'll try that once more, and if it doesn't work out, then whatever. We won't fret about it. Ooh, yeah, I sort of messed that up. Oh well, let's grab this and bring this platform down. Get all the nice stuff. <laughs> cool, cool. Ooh, and we have another wish. Oh, this is this is so awesome. You guys gotta check this out. Incredible, you made it through. Drag the skateboard and jump on so we can get out of here. Now it's funny because it's like he's telling you what to do, but it's like it's time, so you gotta go quick. Oh man, the super jump! Whoa! Okay, cool. That was awesome. Okay, this can be a little difficult. We actually need to probably bring a piece of Dumpty back with us because there is uh, this key over here. So let me get his buttocks and hop on it and then get up here. Ha! <laughs> okay, uh, let's see what else is there as I pull his buttocks around. There's some stickers. Definitely worth running back here. And I think there might actually be something way back under here. <laughs> So I mean, what's the point of not doing it? I love how they re they meant like they showed this area off, sort of. They had the skateboard level in Little Big Planet 3, the trailer. I thought that was so cool. I thought that was such a great homage. Okay, so where is this sinking thing? There it is. Was this worth the run? You freaking bet it was. Okay, let's run back. It's a crazy taco. Okay, let's go, 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 go. We gotta run all the way. Can I explode myself? Would that be faster? Oh, okay, what's gonna happen now? I'm gonna go way up here. That was not worth it. Oh well. At least now I'm going downhill. That should be faster than running. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Look at my momentum. I'm super speed, Zack boy. Whoa, wow, I'm actually going really fast. <laughs> That wasn't really worth it, but I was hoping that I got a checkpoint. Like, look, we're on bricks, you can see grass behind us. It's obvious that we have a sense of scale. It's interesting, to be honest. Okay, so let's go to the right here. And, uh, we can head up, head on up here. And hopefully hop into Dumpty. But she's gonna say that. These five labels contain objects and materials you can use them to make your own levels and creations. So learn how, visit my moon the next time you're in your pod. Okay, fun. Okay. Ooh. Oh, there was nothing inside of him. I was hoping there would be some nice goodies, but oh well. Alright, so let's collect these nice objects. Of course, used to help make stuff in the level creator. And we get the star, finally! The star we've been waiting for! <laughs> okay, and let's head up. And ooh. I'm the first, first of the creator curators. You'll meet seven more on your quest. Set a course for the Savannah and meet the next creator, Zola. Awesome! And look at the king, just sort of sitting on his submarine. We'll actually be joining him on the submarine, so let's hop in. Ooh, <laughs> that is one of my favorite levels, by far. It was really, really cool, and the next episode we'll be doing the Savannah, which is really, really exciting. We get the trophy, the gardens, for completing the gardens. We get over 50% of the items, which is cool, too. We didn't get an A cell, unfortunately. I got my butt kicked by ghosts. Oh. But it's still okay. You are a true explorer of the ethereal dreamscape, and you have unlocked the work of another creator-curator. You're a natural-born dreamer, so here's another couple of planets for you to weave your exploratory magic around. Be sure to boldly go to them both. I'll meet you there with some more tourist information for you. Where to eat, that sort of thing. Okay, so in the next episode, we'll be excitingly started, starting the Savannah and be able to zebra it up in here and be all zebra-tastic and stuff. But I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a zebra-tastic like and commenting your thoughts on the video and maybe even sharing it, sharing it with friends and family because the more we share these videos, the more popular they get, the more our little family grows, and that'll be fun, our little zebra herd. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.